welcome back everyone to another video and this one will continue the trend of early on software development on the Hikey 960 and today what I'm going to show you is the very first taste of uh, a basic Linux based operating system now this is not Android uh, this is actually Linux GNU so this is practically build number 60, uh, 64 I guess uh, of the open uh, embedded platform and uh, Morty branch so this is not the uh, master branch uh, I am not using that right now so again uh, features showed in this video might be a little bit old depending upon when this video gets uploaded uh, but this is still a work in progress and this is a small look into what is happening so the HDMI output is still not working so we have to use the uh, UART and that should get us on the right track so let's go ahead and power on the Heike 960 and there we go that is the boot and now we have the kernel booted up uh, and let's just wait for the main system to come on Alright so finally let's go ahead and try to log in and now this time it seems to work fine. I do still have uh, some issues with the uh, 1.8 volt UART but we have to make do for now. So this is the Heike 960 running open embedded. So let's go ahead into HTOP and there we can see all our 8 cores present and working at different loads of uh, uh, 3 gigabytes of RAM and uh, swap is not really uh, set up right now so with that said uh, it seems that all 8 cores are actually working uh, we are running the kernel 4.9 right now and then again uh, let's go ahead and try to get some CPU temperatures if that's possible so let's see if uh, Alright, so let's take a look at what we have here, thermal and then, alright, so looks like we don't really have uh, CPU temperatures right now uh, enabled on this, again this was very recently added on the Android common kernel for the Heike 960, but uh, I think we should soon see it implemented here apart from that I think it is uh, easily possible to look at uh, the frequencies so okay so we are able to uh, sort of see the uh, CPU frequencies so let's put them on a watch and there you can see they just change from uh, a higher clock speed to a low clock speed so the top four CPUs are the Cortex A53s uh, running at 500 uh, about 500 megahertz to a gigahertz the lower ones are A73 running from 900 to a 2.3 so the above one are actually running up to 1.8 gigahertz so that's a lot of power so again uh, it would be nice to see if somehow we are able to load the uh, load all the cores so let's go ahead and test that so if this is a uh, only 4x4 four four situation where we can load 4 cores or at once or we can actually put load at all the 8 cores so let's go out of there and uh, the other issue is that the Wi-Fi connection is not really working at the moment so I cannot go ahead and install that's already uh, that's not already on the system and neither is the USB working uh, I do get uh, some option in the LS PCIe so I'm not that sure that if that's the PCIe slot but the uh, USB stuff is not working so um, hmm. I'm still trying to find a way to stress the CPU. C uh, ch mod plus x uh, hot dot sh and dot slash hot dot sh and there is no C 
so it has started yes yes so finally all the eight cores can be stressed theoretically at least uh, now I am not sure how hot this will get but we can monitor the frequencies to see if it's actually throttling because this is just a dummy load it I don't think will do a lot of damage so let's quit that uh, and see if you are still running all right so we are not we are still running that script in the background so go ahead and uh, take a look at our CPU frequencies so for now they are all running at the top of their uh, clock speeds uh, no thermal throttling in uh, sight but I guess as the CPU heats up uh, it will automatically start to throttle maybe uh, uh, not controlled by the kernel but controlled by the other bootloader stuff uh, and stuff like that there is some safety mechanism built into it because I have been able to even before the thermal update from for the Android build I have been able to uh, get the high 960 to turn off just by uh, having it a bit too hot uh, during my Geekbench test so uh, what I will do is power it down for now and that is about it a very basic uh, Linux based OS so a GNU Linux system that is working pretty well for now of course for the parts that aren't really working like the HDMI and the USB ports I think uh, and the Wi-Fi of course but I think that should be sorted sooner or later it may already have been sorted out so again this uh, does deserve a second video whenever things uh, have been a bit more developed uh, and a bit more matured so once we have the USB driver and, may, uh, and hopefully the HDMI driver and stuff like that working soon enough so thank you so much for watching this was it a Linux GNU system uh, based on open air embedded Morty branch running on the high key 960 thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one